Hey everyone, we're not going to do a live gameplay video today, we're going to uh, instead go through this replay, which I found pretty interesting. Um, so here I'm up against the Korean player um, from Active Club Clan, and he's going to start by dropping a giant, I believe. Um, so we're both waiting, 10 elixir, he drops a giant in the left lane, and um, I respond with a Sparky. The reason why I do this is because the giant is so slow moving, that my Sparky can usually take care of the Giant. Um, and if other troops start to bunch um, behind the Giant, the Sparky's also gonna take him out. Um, here he sends minions to counter the Sparky. I'm gonna play Fire Spirits um, to take care of you know most of those guys. Um, and like I said, um, the Giant is gone before it hits the tower. Uh, on the right side here, I have an enemy Sparky with some Fire Spirits. I zap the Fire Spirits. Um, and I do a successful barb drop against this Sparky to counter it. Still no damage to um, either of my towers, while his right tower, where I, I, I had sent a Royal Giant um, in the opposite lane as my Sparky to kind of um, nick away at his tower, he didn't really do much to counter to counter that Royal Giant. He decided to push on the left instead with his Giant and his troops. So here we're gonna do the same thing. Um, Sparky on the left, he, I don't, he's sending a giant again. Um, that's five elixir uh, on a on an offensive only troop. Really, he can't do anything against Sparky besides slow him down. He drops Sparky behind his giant, which is a pretty decent move. He's um, probably going to one shot my, my Sparky right here, which he did. But my Sparky got one shot off on his giant before it, right before it died. So here we go. Got my zap ready, and zap against Sparky really is all about timing, and it's um, quite effective when done correctly. Um, so on the right hand. Uh, his right hand tower has <laughs> taken some significant damage. There I go with a taunt. Um, he hasn't really caught on yet. I, I'm I'm splitting my my pushes, and he's only he's only looking at he's he's only countering one side at a time. Um, and I'm finding this to be a pretty uh, interesting strategy here. So he's going to drop a giant in his left again. I'm going to drop um, barbs. Maybe a little bit early there. Um, I didn't want to avoid dropping the Barbarians too close to my tower so he'd get into the Barbarians with a Fireball and my tower all at once. Here he sends a Wizard and a Giant on the left side. And I'm going to split up my Royal Giant and Sparky again. He's going all in the left lane there. Um, uh, so he's got a Sparky with a Wizard. And that's a pretty you know, dangerous combination. Because um, I use it all the time. I know how effective it can be. Um, but the cannon su successfully distracts everybody. Uh, while I make the counter and he's got some damage on both my towers, but honestly, it's it's very little and by splitting up two very uh, strong troops I'm kind of forcing this guy into choosing to defend one or the other and it's um, It this strategy relies on my opponent counting on my opponent to make a mistake and um, you know He did he didn't really defend the right side very well at all and um, you know by the middle of the game He was down to 700 hit points on the right tower. So there's a uh, one replay that hopefully has some more coherent commentary as I was not playing while I uh, kind of narrated but um, hopefully you can employ this strategy uh, in your own decks and um, best of luck as you as you uh, play Clash Royale. Thank you.